And you're a prat. Right. Oh, dear me. Right, so how many miles have I done? Oh, we'll do this again. Oh, 74 miles. I'm done. Right. Let's see if it goes. Let's go to the microphone. Don't need poking me in the face. Whoa. Oh. as well and we might actually make some kind of a video out of it what's mildly worth watching but probably not unless I fall off why can't I go no we'll let that car go first oh little Alpha GT V just waiting for me to go I'm having a bit of a wobbly moment thank you very much Dear. Oh, and now my hip hurts. Oh, hip cramps. Oh, my God. Ow. Ow, ass. Right. Oh, shit. Why is that suddenly started? Ow. Oh. No, that really is hurting. Right, anyway, so, uh, oh, no, I suppose I'll go over everything again then, haven't I? Right around this time. <laughs> what an idiot. Um, okay. So uh, I was gonna, taking the um, S red on a nice long blast. We went to Finching Field. It didn't stop. Um, Weathersfield, Headingham, Civil Headingham, Castle Headingham, through to the Sudbury Road, back to Halstead, and then through to Earl's Cone. And um, yeah, it was lovely. Well, it wasn't early to be honest. There's rather a lot of traffic lights. So, also, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I'll perhaps I'll find some good pizza and do a montage thing. Oh, I don't know. Right, so also what I was talking about, or sort of mentioned, I'm taking KTM away on holiday. I don't know, I don't know, I've got about six days off. The original idea was to go to um, do the Northwest 500 in the Alpha. And then I don't know why, suddenly I decided I'd go and do a tour of the coast of uh, Devon and Cornwall. Start North Devon. Oh, anti-clockwise. Oh, I plotted a route. Oh, it, uh, hold it up. Speak! Just, yeah, yeah, all the tiny little back roads. Any road I can find as, as close to the coast as possible. Ducati Chelmsford. I went to their cafe, was it 1989? It's quite nice, actually. I don't think they actually do, like, fry up, so... He wanted to go up there, didn't he? You can't go up there now. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. They might do. They do uh, bats and fried right, uh, baked potato. Lovely baked potato. With baked beans and cheese. And salad. Sit you on salad on Saturday, no thanks. And then it comes with a bloody great load of salad on it. And actually, the coffee was lovely. Yeah, oh well, see, I've just started off a bit like this. Then there's a good bit in the middle this morning. Uh, uh, and then, yeah, we're just back to this again then. At least there aren't traffic lights, we were saying that. There's traffic lights up here, no. Oh, why do people do that? It's an overtaking lane! It's Right, 
Oh yeah. Crush helmet. <laughs> Patient nose. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I had a slight accident with the other one. Well, I always do. It wasn't a, probably wasn't a very bright idea. I don't now. But yeah, I put the, um, the crush helmet on my Pajero bonnet while I push the bike out. Which would probably normally have been alright. But it's got that, I think, Ken Kendo camera mount. Which obviously makes it a bit wobbly. Anyway, I put it down, push the bike out. And then I just heard this crack. Look around and the helmet was lying on the floor. And it was actually kind of a burn, what do you call it? Blistered, that's the word I was thinking. Oh, yeah, it all kind of blistered where it hit the ground. So uh, yeah, that would be expensive. Or unnecessarily expensive. Although uh, the helmet was getting old, I suppose. But yeah, anyway, so I uh, started looking, oh no, there was this one, the Shui, I can't think what it's called now, and Klein, which I could quite fancy at first, but all carbon fibre, so it's supposed to be like a nice helmet, but just finished cheaply, like, it's like a well built, very light helmet. It's just all the bits attached to it are just shit and wobbly. So yes, yeah, so I soon decided against that one. Oh, and it didn't have a D shackle. I quite like. Well, I don't like actually, but the, the one that's on there, I just didn't know it just looked like it was going to fall off. I suppose I tested it and stuff, but um, here, yeah, so I ended up with this one. in the morning, so unless I take the day off before, I can only really go to either Snetterton or Brands Hatch, really I want to go to Brands Hatch, I quite like Brands Hatch, I know I've never been there, but I've just, there's a circuit, it's a bit more undulating, um, yeah, so it's one of those two, and, yeah, I've never done a track day before, I've been on a track or anything. So really, I want to go in the novice class, even the sort of, they the mixed groups, I may have no other cool name. Gin and track day. But yes, yeah, so I want to do a novice only one. Uh, yeah, so I found the perfect one. On a Wednesday, we go off. Winter the 30th of August, MSP, track day, novice only. But, um, yeah, I don't know, I might have work commitments. So, I'll, yeah, so I just thought, uh, study, well, I'll try to find another one, but I couldn't really find anything else. Simple. And, uh, yeah. I don't know how late you can leave it, we didn't book up like a couple of days before, but I probably know a couple of days before.
game. <laughs> Noisy plane. Alright, oh my god, I get off here. Oh, oh bloody hell. Oh. Right.